Oh yeah. Not bad for a first stop, really. No. Cool. I hate town centres like this so much. There could be a super in it and I wouldn't even see it. <gasps> this is absolute carnage. So you join me on the road and we're driving to a Smith's Toys. So it's been a really long time since I've done one of these big peg hunt specials, but finally payday has come round and uh, let's go on another adventure. And today we're going to go visit a shop that I've never been to and I've heard really good things about it. Hopefully we can find it because it's in the middle of a very busy town centre. There's two old blokes. They look very, very... <laughs> happy. They either didn't like me or they were wondering what the hell the car was, I couldn't tell. Anyway, let's ignore that and carry on with uh, the peg hunt. Hopefully we'll find something good today. For once. Cue the music. I might be lost. I thought I knew the way I was going, but I haven't been this way in quite a while. Because I remember there's like a pub, and we turn right at the pub, and it's like a small road, and we weren't on a small road, but now we are. Oh, no, we're not lost anymore, I know where I am now. I recognise this bit. It's like half open because there's a body in the back of it. That's a bit eerie. Just burden. So on the side of the Smiths, woo! Oh boy, they got a whip! Home improvement? Don't you mean camper car improvement? Yeah. Smiths Toys Superstores, you better have some of those things I want in stock. Oh. It's kind of, um, what is that? Oh, they've got a new exotic MV. Oh. There's a, a gear at R in this. It's not going to be there. It won't be there, you just know it. Right. That's the problem, it's just people just take one and it. Oh yeah. Hang on, I'm going to get all of these off to get it. Oh. Wow. This looks like it's going to be an expensive day. Yeah. Is that a super? Can you imagine it's just like, yeah, it's just there. Oh. How about I be the one that buys all the Koenig's eggs? Do you want barbecue? No. Shall I be the one that buys all the Koenig's eggs? I think there's only one, you know. Oh no, there's two. <laughs> that one's... That must be an error car. <laughs> Is it still glued? No, it's not. <laughs> These used to be worth a lot of money because there's like only one casting of them. See, now they brought out multiple. Actually, do you reckon there's another one that's missing? Was it one out of five? So I've got a 
us out of five, there's four. I'm pretty sure I saw a green, one of the green ones, what was it? Ooh, wow. Wow. That looks awesome. I kind of want to open, I kind of want another set of this just to open, these are awesome. Wow. Should we leave it to the next one, like the next Smiths, and if they have duplicates I'll buy them. Well, you might as well. Because there's actually another full set here, because there's another Aguera at the top. And I don't want to be the one that ruins a full set. Don't oh no, there's actually there's another, there's two Agueras here actually. They've actually got a decent amount of these, for once. I wonder if it is just because we've come in oh, midday yeah, rather yeah. than like five minutes before closing. Yeah. Well, I'll grab them and I'll consider it because that's probably like 40 quid. Right there. Oh, I didn't even see We've actually got a few of them. Yeah. Wow. I didn't even see them. I've never seen one of these in the UK before. Well, this is going to get very expensive very quickly. Yeah, this is probably like... I need not know. What have they got mainline wise? Uh, not really. It's quite old looking. Really it's just a newer car, I just dropped them. Yeah, I've no idea actually. Other than like that. That one. No, I think the main lines are pretty. Oh, the ribbon. Let's go wide angle for a bit, so I get a bit more in. I like the Jurassic World. These, all these bits here, they're just—it's not really something I'd go for. What's on the floor or on the bottom? I've kind of given up with these sort of sets as well. I think what they've done. I've still got some of these. Batman stuff. I can't believe how many of these they've stopped. To be fair. This is, a this is actually a really nice set. Isn't that Batman's having to be all kind of hard time? How do you actually get cars off without having to move them all along? Wheel. Yeah. Let's say I've got those sets, which is awesome. I think there's only that type, isn't there? Yeah. Still, I can't complain, I've never seen them before, so... This looks very, very expensive. Battling creature transporters. Interesting. Mm. Interesting 10-pack. Am I going to look at the 10-packs? Mm. With the amount I've already got hold in my hand, I'm kind of nervous to even... <laughs> this is a loss. This is like... This is one shot. <laughs> this is the first stop. Not bad for a first stop, really. No. I would, like, leave it, but... If, guarantee if I don't buy it here, it won't be in the next one. TK Maxx is whatever that is. Mesa. It's open. It used to be quite good, Mesa. Wow. They're all like Mesa, I think they For a minute I thought they were. European. European. Well, it's Mondo Motors, but... Mondo Motors? I feel like I've heard of Mondo Motors. What's Mondo Motors? I don't know. V pack of Brago. That's quite interesting. They should put their price tags on this, don't they? Mm. Not that. No idea how much it is. A five pack of Brago. Well, wow. you got the um. Don't even think I've really got any Brago in my collection. Yeah. Well, they're the ones I usually see. Mm. But more of the uh, fresh, fresh metal. I don't know about it. I've never really got Brago right before. See, these are quite cool. There you go. Well, <laughs> after my first purchase, I'm not so sure about. I mean, that five pack doesn't look cool though. But it's the type of castings, it's like. A lot of people like, you know, the Mustang, the Viper, and the GTR, but they're not my sort of. Mm. <laughs> you wonder if the they look the same a bit frequency? like the Loop Coupe. Do you think they've got the same frequency? But if you notice, they look like the Loop. They are based off the Loop Coupe. Yeah. Box casting, yeah. but they're not. Passion. 
extremely powerful for me. I will not pay in that for me. I would if I, I don't mind that means it's seven pound each. Yeah, if so I got the if I got the random quality. YouTube money. Actually got money off YouTube. That I'd be doing stuff like that all the time. Of each car for seven pound each. Street fire. Cool. Oh the Prado again, I'm the bigger stuff. That Lambo's quite nice actually. How they don't price the Brago stuff. No. That's no, probably that's probably quite a bit of that. Huh? Oh, Fifteen quid, yeah, as I say, it's probably oh, quite a bit. Yeah. So, Wait, I mean to be fair, for that amount of size castings it's good, but I don't tend to get that size casting because the space mainly. Still no hot wheels here this time, but it's always random what's in here. Yeah, nice wing, bruv. Oh, they've swapped the sides. This is a bit of a mess. This is statistically being a mess, isn't it? What's that? Lightyear? Wait, what? There's a oh. Lightyear set. Oh, I thought it was like a down there and it was a set. This is absolute carnage. Um, so the thing was, it was like a long... It was like a, a thing a long part, yeah, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a thing that was in separately. Yeah. So that would be the one, wouldn't it? There's a new Acacia, though, because that's new. Yeah, I was just, uh, I've not seen something that's coming. Uh, that Viper I've not seen before. And that bus I'm pretty sure is I've well. not seen that I showed you, so it's down to me. <laughs> like, how many of them have been knocked down? Would you say it's been raided? I mean, I think it might have been. Probably. It's one of the things, okay. 169. I mean, it's ain't a t bad place to buy some cars, is it really? If I want to get some main lines, they're a bit cheaper. I want this now. <laughs> Mascot for the vehicle. Uh, yeah. Well, I can see why it, they all get knocked down. See, that's quite interesting. There is no other one. It doesn't look like it's in the sand, but it would be here. Yeah. I say, I think the only reason I got the Super Last one was because it was a long card. I'm assuming it might have been not been international. I thought she said there was an accident. Mm -hmm. I thought she said there was an accident. Mm -hmm. Why is there so many millions of these cards? I don't know, because no one buys them. I want to I can't. <laughs> I don't think I've seen that before. Not a super, I don't think. Isn't what? I thought that's a, the um, GJ brand. I thought it was the MS. Well, I mean, it is pretty raided, let's face it. Um, yeah. Maybe I'll start. I don't even know how to do this. This is going to be all, all horrible, isn't it? This is awful. Put one back in all the way. Look at all the. Move it a shame that I can't All the cars that just keep getting in the way. But why are these two together? The Nissan Leaf fit like. This is just a disaster. It really is. How was that even managed to get like that in that box? I don't know. That's like never going back. Do you want a uh, El Camino? Wagon. No, I don't know. Oh, boy. oh no, it's Chevelle SS. SS or no. I'm just. I'm tired, okay? Well, I got up two hours or something before you and started doing stuff. They've got 
Bog over here, isn't it? Or a singular bra. I'll have a look, see if there's any more of them somewhere. I'm assuming they just had all the cars one lined up at the bottom and they've all been destroyed by all the hot wheels falling on them. Well, do you want a minifigure? I was picking these up and putting them back on the shelf. I've just found those to find the um, oh, found the box. sausage squeeze toy. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> yeah, why not? They're cheaper than everywhere else, so. Pretty sure I started here, didn't I? Hmm? Good. I was trying to pull the light years back in the show just now. It's just this so much. Well, I think it's been a bit raided, but there's a few main lines I didn't pick up for a bit cheaper, which is nice. Don't mind that. Where the Brago stuff? Oh. There's a Lambo in there. Is that a Ford Raptor? Mustang? Yeah. Oh, go street fire. Hmm. These are 350. Oh, really? Or I just I sort of knock them along and then I just carry on trying to catch it. Instead of catching it, I keep knocking it further along. Is, a, is that a Renault or something? Renault again. Wow. Yeah, I'm not sure. The wheels look a bit... Something off about the wheels to me. There's a Mini there. Old school Mini. I don't know what's on the road. <laughs> hmm. It doesn't tell you what it is or something. I'm not sure about that. But what is this? I'm kind of tempted to get one to see what it's like, but also. Well, this one's quite heavy. Well, it's not really a oh. stash dash, is it? I cannot explain just enough how angry I am. And upset at the roads coming here and the parking situation and the cost. I am not, I'm a country boy at heart. I always will be. I absolutely, I hate town centres like this so much. Where it's just constant one ways, roads and pon roads that go different ways. And and the Google Maps took us to this car park and both times sent us to the back where is the entrance to national car parks for f sake so that sent other people to that back entrance you cannot get into and i can't tell if i've got to use my card or i can't they don't take cash i don't know if i've got to download an app or not hopefully it accepts card anyway let's get on because i'm going to be paying for sitting here i swear it's like probably a few, 10 quid a minute or something i feel like i'm browsing through the cars at the start of the first drive again I have no idea where we are. The thing, what's even better is, I have no idea where this shop is. So now we've got to find that as well. Oh yeah, let's use Google Maps because that sent us to the right place about seven times over, hasn't it? So we search it or just look around and hope? I don't know where. How did we miss that? Yeah, that rings a, that rings a bell now. The front of it. All all of this hassle has been for one shop. Well, it does look a wow. <laughs> Is that it? <laughs> if you come all the way here, three for two. Yeah, all this hustle for that, I'm gonna be actually, I might cry. <laughs> don't worry, we got this set. You probably already got. I don't have that set. I, don't know I have no urge to get that set either. Uh... They got a different five pack there. Hot Wheels exposed engines. Huh. It's the only one that's there. Is this really good? Tenner wheel. Yeah. Okay, well, that set there as well. But... 
There's not even premiums. Mm. I've overly hyped this up. Well, everyone said it was really good, unless this is just a particularly small one. Yeah. I don't like it because this is tiny. Like this is only worth it if I find a super now. I can walk. What's it? Like this is like a very small one. You know. I don't know how big they are normally, though. This is the only one I know of in the area. Well, not area, because it's still miles away from me. It's three for two, but like... We need to actually buy three first. I need to buy three. I don't want... There's no three I want. <laughs> Should we just go up that way now? Yeah, well, we got a while. Or do we? No, it's almost like two already. So it's two-thirty. Well... That means we should just get the hell out of here and go then, I think. Near the Sainsbury's? What, near, near the no, Smiths? No, it's Freetown Centre, that's what I'm saying. Oh, I don't probably. know, we'd have to look them at that one. Oh, I don't like town centres. Well, the first trip to Entertainer and I'm abruptly leaving because this just sucks. <laughs> I hyped this up too much for myself. Oh dear. Oh, that one's a bit loose. He's kicked in the bed space. The speaker's right behind you. They just like putting the speakers and toy well. Wow! That's Racer car watch. Yeah. <laughs> That's a tiny little screw. <laughs> That's sort of thing, I'd review that as a joke and get a thousand views. You're I'm going to get the pound man, Laurie. Apparently it's a collectible truck. Oh, is it? Yeah, you want that in all your collections. Gotta have it. Yeah. Your collection's not complete without it. Wow, well, two for 20. I guess it's not. What needs you to. Oh, they're 12.99 each. They only have five. Looks like it. I don't have. Daddy! 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 Yeah, some newish stuff in there, but. Ain't that new. Well, there might be some off down here. I would say it's a no. Well, two for 20. I guess it's not. However, as I was leaving the store, I noticed by the tills was a shelf full of freshly stocked Hot Wheels cars. This was great news, but also bad news because it was by the tills. It was all cramped because of the people queuing to pay for items. And one side that was still full of cars was up against a fridge full of drinks. So it made looking through this one abhorrently difficult. And these sort of displays are already quite difficult to look through. But nonetheless, I had a good old go at it. Oh. Looks quite cool. These are one of those ones that are really difficult to look through though. Like, exceedingly difficult to look through. Looks pretty well stocked and fresh, but there's just queues behind us. I can't see half of what's in there. Like, cool Mazda though. There could be a super in it and I wouldn't even see it. Or a regular treasure hunt too. I think that's a super of this case. It's that one, isn't it? But. LW Sylvia. Yeah, this is pretty new, or well, is new, and pretty well stocked. Just very difficult to look through. What's that? Oh wow. Well. Look at that beginning. Oh, yeah, nice. Can't actually look down at it at all. Yeah, that's what I was trying. I was trying to look, but I'm going to get Yeah. I was trying to see if there's any signs. I was trying to look to see if the other ones are going to be Uh, uh, 
Yeah, it's probably the hardest lot of pegs I've ever had to look for in my entire life, you know. For then my brain's like, keep looking, there might be something. Keep digging. Yeah, could be all this for nothing, you know. But like, I need to know. It isn't, it's all 100% fresh, all this. I just want to make sure I've really old oh dear. That's not ideal. Everyone's just looking like what? Another one of them civics. I think that's pretty well looked for. I'll put it back from you. Um, I'll go here. <laughs> you look so unimpressed. So we did another roundabout route to get here. Usually getting here is not that bad. Uh, average 50 speed cameras on the so-called smart motorways is just, it's just bullshit. Anyway, we're here. Swirled thing in a hot car. Very stressful. Doing all this on five hours sleep and having the stress of going through that town. Oh my God. Well, we're gonna go to that Smith's over there. Yeah, which will have probably the same stuff. This is probably all a pointless mission, but we'll go see what's in there. Who knows, might find a super. <laughs> uh, look at helicopter. Hmm. Wow. Look at all those hot figures. Oh, there's another one. Yeah. No, there's it it it. another one of these just sitting there. Probably. Probably. This is a bit strange. It's just left there. It'd be quite an old one now, I think. A few cases back. There's newer stuff. But oh, checking main lines is actually quite tedious. No, it is the same thing. What well, else going to be? Yeah. Oh. The other problem is, it's these shops, their lighting's not very good, mainly because of the size. So like here, all this looks awful quality because of just how dark it is. Yeah. And obviously in wide angle, to get everything in shot, it's even worse. I don't think anyone will be able to see it in there, can't really. Probably not, no. I can barely see, actually. <laughs> Focus no, if there was an error, I'd never notice it. Not that I'd do anyway, but I mean, yeah, but I picked up it's so dark. Well. There's a Tesla truck. Wow. That kind of dates that a little bit. I've dropped a couple by accident. Well, that dates it as well. Yeah. <laughs> camper. Yeah, but... <sighs> I don't see all the ones that are armed in here. I'm just making a mess now, really. No, I'm dragging the window underneath. Yeah, but I'm just... You're just knocking them off the shelf. Yeah, yeah. well, it's the only way to look sometimes. It's the only way to look. Well, when they're like this, yeah, this is... These are all a bit... dated. Was it this one? Is it 20 packs then? I can't see any much. Well, this one doesn't have the uh, box. The um, true. Not that I can see. That's a really good point. Actually, I thought we'd have better luck here. Yeah, they don't have that that set with the truck, do they? Well, well I thought it was them, but I've just realised that these are the cars. They're well. like Mario Kart. Thing. I mean. Five packs. I've still not seen that new one that I saw, but I really. I can't believe they haven't got it. Oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> they have a lot of them. Yeah, it looks like no one's bought these actually. Surprising, really. Reduced price, I wonder why. 
Ooh. Wait, do these all glow? Oh. Oh, the wheels don't. That glows. Oh, that's a bit. They're making it seem like the wheels glow, but they don't. Nice. Because they won't fit on anything I have. Well, that's kind of that, really, isn't it? What about those five packs at the front? Are there any new ones there? I was looking, but I don't want to move. No, not really. What else do we have? Sets and things. Cars stuff. Monster Jam. They don't have anything like Welly anymore, do they? It's all, it just suddenly, no, it becomes, it comes Hot Wheels, cars, uh, Metal machine, just kind of a nice middle ground. These are still quite good, actually. Those cars. It was wellies in there, it? That's what I mean. We don't have them anymore. Wellies and stuff like that. Don't mind. I'll catch you if you shop them. I'm sealing this. But they just had an issue with like it's really Lego, strange. I'm sure this was the Lego section. This is true. Yeah, it is. Technic. Technic. It's just got four guys. Let's just swap it around. Because it's Lego both sides, not just one side. Well, that was eventful. The Sainsbury's there. Have we actually ever got anything out of the Sainsbury's? Mm -hmm. I don't think we have. Are we going to try it anyway? Probably. Yeah. Is that still recording? <laughs> I don't know yet. For God's sake. Kinda. Oh, there's stuff in there. Wow. Ish. Oh, sorry, is that two? It's the long car. What's the long car? <laughs> Extra Barbie. <laughs> There's a pound stretcher, so we might check that out, maybe, if I can be bothered in the next few metres. There's also an Audi, which occasionally do actually sell hot ones, but Audi are a bit tricky to get in and out of. Yeah. And there's obviously the middle aisles in there, which I get very distracted in. Mind you, pound stretcher's hard to get out of as well. Hang on. I see some in the long card. I've seen some and they're long cards. Huh. Old, but. Yeah, one the old ones. 150? Well, I'm a bit short, but. You're a bit short. Are these international? No, you can't see. Mm -hmm. I can't tell. You don't need to build any people. What are they? Oh, it's Batman. I'm holding the camera too, like no one will see what I'm filming. Well, they're super fun. Yeah. Yeah. I can't see them, like, too much. They're flipping on the dog bed just down there. What is that? <clears throat> oh no. <laughs> oh no. Wait, what? You don't want to make it nasty for that. You've got a tall inclusion. No. <laughs> <gasps> Matchbox in boxes. Wow, oh, so it's not like always the Oh my god. I've never seen it. I'm so glad they come here. Here we are. I've That's never seen thing. matchboxes in. Oh. Big matchboxes. It's working bricks. I don't know how many there is. Yeah. I'm just gonna have this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep the tin unit here because these are long cards and you never know. What nice one Uh I don't know, I should have to keep rummaging for a more I think, because I have no clue. I can't identify this set. Huh? Yeah. It's a pretty. It's a mix of sort of old and new. Oh, I'm too short. Unless I like look through the phone screen, because that will get a higher view if you can hold that high. Unless I like look through my phone screen, because I get a higher view. I think 
there was a red one out in a different car. Mm. Well, it was me until now, but I think it will be me in a second. I don't think there's a super here. I just got, I saw long cards and obviously got excited. I don't even know if I've, I don't even know if I've been for them or, like I say, there's just a lot that I've hidden. Oh my god. <laughs> Things I've looked for those. Have you knocked the wall off the thing or were they not on me? <laughs> a bit of both. They weren't all on, but I think I had more than once. They're long cards, I've got to be far when it comes to them. Yeah. Oh, it's a mer- oh, part then. I think I've been through all that. I have made an absolute mess of it. So, sorry, pound stretcher. I'm pretty sure there's no super there. Which is fine. Oh, no, you can get the street races. It's fine, because these are awesome. You've got the street races. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> 15 quid for just... Oh wow. Is there any like, I really am, is there any stuff, oh there is one at the back. <laughs> the whole shelf falls down, well, at least I can look through them all, this, this shelf did collapse, I can look through them all. Range mm -hmm. of our shimmies are all the same in each one. Ooh. Porsche, Porsche, Porsche. Are they not? I've seen different models. Unless they are doing the stuff. The ones at the back are the ones you're not going to, going to see the ones that haven't been taken yet. Porsche, Land Rover. Opened one. Mini, old car, I think they are all the same. Oh. To an extent. Oh, must convertible mustard. Oh no, oh no. Double. A double four. Oops, oops. Oops. I'm really like discord the tractor. Discoordinated. So I'm just, I'm clearly too tired. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know. No. I wanted a super trailer hunt, which I thought I'd find up there, but I didn't, unfortunately. I've made a mess of the matchbox and all now. Sorry, pound stretcher. I really am destroying the place. Oh, I didn't notice the golf. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> you look fine. Yeah. Wasn't Audi all right there? Ooh. Great. Well, I never get to see these, so. This is generally the first time I've ever seen these in person and not in someone else's video. Because of course I've gone and ruined every single one. <laughs> well, mm -hmm. Some of the most electric thing. Uh, electric, uh, RC car. Yeah. Dino car. <laughs> Dinosaur <laughs> car. <laughs> I 
think for 125, I think I know where my choice is going to be. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I think I'll stick with the 1.25 match watching. Why? Huh? Yeah. Been chased by a blue car. Snap back to my head turner. Turns head for all the wrong reasons. Oh no, someone, a bird has pooed on my car. It's ruining my pristine, lovely paint job. Oh no. Wow, an old nerd. Well. It's like half an hour. Oh yeah, they, they deleted our order. Today has been a mixed bag of good and bad and worse. Look, <laughs> Francis. This was like a bit bad. Time to eat our food. Or we'll call it that. And um, go home. Oh no, what's happened? We've stumbled across a tech. Wait, hang on. Oh, hang on. Oh, it says Tesco. You just have to take my word for it. I've shut the Saxo key in the door. It was already bent, it's fine. I asked if the Tesco is Hot Wheels, so we're gonna find out. Also, Vauxhall Cavalier, wow. I can't zoom in, apparently. Wow. The answer is yes, but actually no. Wow. Huh? Oh, I'm pretty bad at actually recording what I meant to be. After all that, I dropped my friend off to see his relatives, and it was time for the long journey home. Well, that's uh, one way to do nearly 120 miles, that's for sure. Right, let's get all the cars up to the desk and go through what I got today. Welcome back everyone to the desk and it's been an incredibly long time since it's um, been this full with cars. They're, they're just off the screens, it's great. So yep, there's been ups and there's most certainly been downs. Um, yeah, that was quite the peg hunting haul and uh, it was definitely a haul onto me. Because I'm absolutely knackered now, let's face it, um, yeah. Now it was all a bit back to front because we were going to go first thing in the morning to get to the shops when they opened, which would be rare for me. We were actually going to like stay up overnight to get there in the morning, but realised that was a bit of a silly idea, um, especially as I had work the day before, so it would have been very difficult. But that idea is still out there. If you want me to do like some overnight peg hunting thing, um, and like overnight we do something, I don't know, a little challenge or set something up, I don't know. Um, of course, peg hunting is a bit difficult because all the shops shut. Our Tesco's near us is no longer a 24 hour uh, since lockdown, which kind of sucks. So, yeah, I don't know. If you if you think that idea is cool, drop a comment and maybe we'll work on that. Anything to make these peg hunts just a little bit more interesting, you know? I want to be a little bit different in my peg hunts and all that, and it's rather difficult when, uh, well, there's usually not that much of a haul. Unlike today, there has been an amazing haul. We were even going to go to the last Smiths first and then work our way back down to home but I ended up dropping my friend up there to see some relatives so it kind of changed all the plans and I'm not sure for the better or for the worse because it kind of all peaked at the first Smiths which let's be real I'm not going to complain at all so first of all we've bagged this Hot Wheels premium set here and this is something that I've never seen in the UK before in fact and thank you to all the subscribers and commenters the people that watch my content thank you anyway but a special thank you to ones that comment especially ones who drop comments and have a talk about what they find and stuff it's always cool to see i've had a few people mention about these in um smith's toys and of course i was like oh my god i've got to go but i had to wait a week till my payday <laughs> i was really worried they were going to get um completely bought out but luckily here it is um 20 quid this set me back in Smith's Toys and yeah if you buy this online even from like reasonable sellers in the UK you're looking at 40. I was sure people were just going to buy tons of these um, just just to fog on. But yeah we get a nice little hauler called the Carry On in there which is pretty cool. Bugatti Chiron or Chiron 
a Koenigsegg Agera R, which looks awesome. McLaren, and, and lastly, the McLaren Speedtail. So, yeah, castings we've had recently, but nonetheless, they are really, really cool. And, yeah, I don't know, it just looks so awesome, this little set. I'm sure we'll, um, we'll open this at some point. I might do it in a separate video, but, yeah, I'm so happy. I finally got this sort of a premium box of Hot Wheels. It's uh, the first time I've ever seen it. And, yeah, five quid per car for a premium set. That ain't bad. That ain't bad, especially if we get a lorry as well. Sadly, what I didn't find, speaking of this lorry, is any team transport sets, which I have had some uh, viewers mention. But there we are. It's a shame. But I'm still chuffed to bits of what I found anyway. Right, where's we start next? Um, let's do the main line. So we found quite a few reasonable, fresh main lines. Um, Smith didn't really have any decent main lines, or nothing up to date anyway. Um, but I found these from, um, I think it was Pound Stretcher and a b and M. I got some of these from. And that was that was quite good actually because they were £1.69. <laughs> so yeah, a lot cheaper than what they'd normally be up here for two quid. Not too bad at all that really, so pretty good with that. Some nice new main lines to feature in the Mark III Hall, which uh, is a little bit away yet. Um, getting quite a big, uh, big selection for Mark III Hall now. So yeah, that is awesome. The one pound fifty one from Pound Stretcher didn't buy any in the end because they're all quite old. Really did have the high hopes of finding a super treasure hunt there, but oh man, we didn't unfortunately. It has been a really really long time since I managed to bag a super. And I know uh, I know I'm, I'm lucky. In it. I'm just lucky to have bagged any at all really, but it has been a really long time and <sighs> there's been a lot of TikToks of people poaching ten of the same one from there. Walmart or Target or whatever. <laughs> as you can tell, it makes me a little bit triggered, as some would say. But, in that pound stretcher, I found some actual matchbox... <laughs> matchbox? Matchboxes! For the first time ever in the UK. So yeah, kind of interesting, as these originated in the UK and were originally made in the UK by Les uh, Lesney Products. They were meant to be little cars that would fit in a matchbox. It seems strange that they always came over here in a uh, card, carded thing like this, but I suppose they're bought out by Mattel and all that now, so... It's just cool to finally see some Matchbox in boxes. It's just a cool little change, and it gives them a little display, uh, so you can like stand the car on top of the box, and of course you get the nice art on the box as well. So I'm sure we'll open these up in a future video as well. I don't want to make this one too long. I imagine the peg hunting stuff is going to quite a long video by now already and of course lastly another one that some people had commented on the channel the exotic envy set so i was not expecting this at all uh because someone said they bagged a whole exotic envy set and i was like oh that's cool i was thinking of the original one was it even called exotic envy no 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 i had this set in mind it was called exotic envy uh funny enough this i never completed either never found the bugatti um I think that was all I had left, was to find the Bugatti, actually. Um, so yeah, another set I only got four of, along with a few others, like that blue I Evo. That's another one I didn't find. So yeah, I was pretty blown away when I stumbled across this brand new set. Uh, I can't remember what car, I think I saw like one of these two first. Or maybe this Bugatti. And yeah, so obviously, quick, 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 look what's on the back. Because I seem to have this thing of... Instead of looking for all the cars, I look what cars are on the back and then go, well, I won't find that and that, and then proceed to look. So immediately, I saw that there was a Koenigsegg Agera R in a set, and I don't have an Agera R in my collection yet, and that's like it, one of my favourite supercars. I'm not fully into supercars, but there's a few I can really get on with, and like the Agera R, one of my all-time favourites. I just think it's so cool. And of course, you know, there's one that's like worth hundreds of pounds i think the original one they made i don't think they're worth too much now because obviously over time they've made more castings of it i've just noticed like there's a mark on one of my posters oh man the problem is with this desk is whenever i'm not recording i won't lie it becomes a dumping ground for stuff because i just have too much of it that's a shame well now I've no, now I've pointed that out, that's all everyone's going to see. I'm going to have to change that poster. That's my favourite one as well. 
That's why I put it in the middle. Oh. When we went up to Smith's, the second Smith's, <laughs> um, yeah, there were still quite a few of these, but a lot less Agueras, and there was absolutely none of this Lamborghini. So I reckon if you find this set, I reckon this may be the one that's quite hard to find, and it's um, not that hard to see why. Um, yeah, so I think they're the two hardest, but this will probably be the harder one of them all. It is me from the future. There's a bloody chase of that one, isn't there? Yeah. Wish I knew that when I was looking. Don't think I saw one. Well, good luck finding that one, guys. This doesn't make collecting fun. At all. Who's bidding on this, anyway? Who's paying these prices? Um, but yeah, that's the nature of it. And I did a bit of a naughty, guys. Oh, I did. I did the thing. I did the thing and bought more. Uh, yeah, um, usually it's not something I'd do, but this just looks too cool, and I've not got an Aguera in my collection, and I've always wanted one, so, yeah, kind of splashed out. I mean, it's not like I've poached every single one. I could have taken all, like, six of them and all ten of these. I didn't, because I can't afford to, and... I don't know, I'm a sane human being who would, like, feel bad for doing that, unlike some horrible people. But, yeah, I did kind of do a little naughty thing and bought myself a cup to open. <laughs> but, yeah, so gone from having no Agueras in my collection to having three. Can't complain there. But with that, I think it's time to end this very long peg hunt special. I hope you've enjoyed coming along with me in my ups and my downs on my cool little peg hunt. Yep. Yeah. What an awesome haul it was, what an awesome day, I've had a blast, I've spent way too much money of course, and yeah, all is good. Be sure to like and subscribe and all that wonderful stuff. Stay tuned for some more videos coming up soon, because I will feature this set, we'll unbox this and unbox all the matchbox and stuff, and at the end of the month we'll have all the main lines featured together in the monthly haul, where we usually unbox most of them as well, so it's definitely worth checking out. But with that, I wish you the best of luck on your peck hunts, hope your hauls are better than mine, Good luck with those super treasure hunts, they are super difficult to find nowadays, and I wish you all the best. Until next time, 